said to come to this address, go to the second floor, and go to the very last door. When I get to that door, I'm supposed to knock three times. I don't know what this could be. It might be another mission, or it's got to be another mission. But I don't know where I'm supposed to go, or what I'm supposed to do, or who I'm supposed to be, but something tells me I'm about to find out. It's the big guy. Hello? Hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Make sure it gets done. Hello, Chad. Were you seen? No, no. Good. So you have the letter? Yes. Yes, sir, I do. I'm assuming this is some kind of new mission, but I don't know what I'm... S this is your mission. World Mission is ready to send a new group of missionaries to the field. Your mission is to learn all you can about how missionaries pack their crates to go to the field. Mr. Caleb, do you know who that is? That is Dr. Louis Bussell, director of World Mission. When he gives us a mission, we need to do it and do it fast. Let's go. What, wait, M Mr. Caleb, do you think it would be okay before we go if maybe I sat in the big chair and you kind of spun me around a little bit? No. You ready? Let's go. All right, Mr. Caleb, here we are in the garage of the Reed family, who are missionaries who are about to get ready to go to the mission field. Now, here today we have Katie Reed and Rebecca Reed, ladies. Hello, nice, how are you doing? Nice of you to come down today. Hello, thank you, thank you. Now, they're going to help us learn about what it takes to get ready to go. But I think I got it all figured out anyway. You see, what's going to happen is the Reeds are going to put all their stuff in, in a crate like this. And they can only take the bare essentials, only what is absolutely necessary. No toys, no goodies, nothing like that. Just enough to survive. Actually, Chad, that's not true. It's not? No. No. So you can take toys? Oh, yes. We have to be smart about how many we take, but we can take toys. What about, like, really big toys? Some. Not that big, Chad. Oh. So how many of these crates can you take? Oh, oh, I know, I know. They, they can only take one. Because all missionaries live in little grass huts, and those huts are very, very small, and they can't hold a lot of stuff. So that's why they can, they can only take one. Is that right? Chad, we're going to live in a house, not a hut. We can even take big things like refrigerators and dishwashers. Wow. So let me get this straight. You can take toys and you can take more than one of these crates and you're going to live in a house and you can pretty much take anything you want? Exactly. We're going to take stuff like Beanie Babies and Nintendos and Game Boys and board games. We just have to be smart packers. It's actually kind of fun. So if you guys wanted to, you could like take that jug over there. And you could, like, take a helmet if you wanted to. You know, and you could take, like, this if you wanted. You know, put that in there. And then you could take that. Yeah, that's you... enough. They have to be smart packers. Yeah, but I just want to help a little bit, so... That's it. Right, then... Don't make me come over there. Ladies, I'd like to thank you for teaching us how missionaries pack for the field. You've been a big help. Mission complete. Oh. You guys are going to let me out of the crate before you send it, right? Right? Shh. 